What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content related to helping you grow your app downloads and your revenues. And today, we're going to talk all about how to improve your ad mob show rate, thereby increasing your ad mob revenue. And joining me, as always, for anything related to ad mob and ad X is Sid Gupta. He is the co-founder and CEO at AppBroda. Go check him out. It is AppBroda. Dot com. Sid, welcome back. Thanks, Steve. How are you, man? I'm great, my brother. So I'm super interested in this. Show rates, ad mob revenues, super critical. I mean, show rates are almost like the main component, right, Sid, to increasing your revenues. Like if you can show more ads and fill those, you know, ad placements, you're going to end up making more money. So what have you guys discovered in how to increase your show rate? Cool. I, that's a really interesting thought, uh, Steve. And I like, to, I like to add like one little clarification there. I think this is one really interesting fact that a lot of developers get confused about. So there are two parameters that a developer should be worried about outside of the ECPMs and the, the CTRs. These are show rate and match rate. Now, the first thing to actually understand is the difference between each one of them. Let's take an example. So you've got an ad placement, let's say it's a banner placement, and there are 20 ad requests that you generate from that ad placement. Now, these 20 ad requests go and hit Google. Now, of those 20 ad requests, if Google says, I have ads for 10 of them, so 10 ads come back and 10 became unfilled. So 10 out of 20, that becomes your match rate. So match rate, in essence, is the total number of ads that Google has for all the ad requests that you have. That's match rate. Now, once you have those 10 ads, let's say for whatever ABC reason, only two get shown actually in your app. That means of the 10 total ads, only two actually got displayed in your app. So that's two by 10, that's 20% show rate. So just to simplify uh, and repeat this again, match rate is actually the total number of ads that Google has for your inventory. Show rate is the total number of ads that you actually showed in your app. So there's a little bit of confusion. A lot of time developers confuse the two terms and it's important to understand uh, each one of them. Now, what do you talk about? Match rate, great. So we, we won't touch match rate. Match rate is a problem completely separate, completely different to talk about. Today, we're gonna to talk about show rate. Show rate and show rate primarily. What I try to do uh, today, Steve, I, I thought I'll uh, try and break it down into a couple of questions. Before the podcast, I actually went on the internet. I tried to search for a lot of questions people keep asking. And what I've done is I've actually figured out four or five questions that people typically ask. I've obviously reframed the language to make it more simpler and palpable for everybody. So I thought I'll, I'll talk about each one of them and try and address those concerns. So the first question that naturally comes to mind, should I be worried about show rate? Yes and no. Yes, because uh, it all depends on what is the show rate that you're getting. Now, the next question to ask is what is a good show rate? Now, unfortunately, there is no standard or golden number that Google recommends it's a good show rate. But my personal recommendation, my personal learnings from multiple developers that I've worked with, I formed sort of a very instinct baseline that I understand. Now let's divide into three different categories. And again, this is all my personal recommendation. So please don't quote me on it or please don't ask Google about it. But this is what I understand and can say is a fair, fairly good show rate or a mediocre uh, show rate or a something to worry about show rate right let's assume your show rate is between 0 to 30 now that's something definitely you should worth look uh, you should look into it is a low show rate and it affects it will affect your cpms and revenue to some extent definitely worth looking into you can increase them so as to increase some revenue definitely if it's 30 to 50 it's mediocre it's not bad it's not good i would say wait it out there are a lot of things a lot of experiments that you can run or spend time in improving your revenue i would say put it at the low part in terms of your uh, bucket when you have ample time, when you have enough time and you're not working anything, then look at this experiment, run it for a long duration of time and get results. But if it's above 50, don't even think about touching it. It's, it's not going to make much of a difference. 50% is considered really, really good. Uh, most cases I've seen is 50% above. They're able to increment it, but only in certain number of cases. And the number of the chance of increasing it is really, really low. There are better ways that you can increase your revenue. So again, should you be worried about show rate? If it's 0 to 50, you should be. If it's 0 to 30, definitely spend some time trying to improve it. If it's 30 to 50, find some uh, ideal time when you don't have anything in the pipeline and then try, uh, try work on it. So let's talk about how do you figure this problem out? How do you go about solving this problem and understanding what is the core reason for this? We, I, what I've done is I've, again, uh, built a step-by-step -step process to help you understand and sort of reach to a conclusion or an area where you can sort of drill down and find the problem. So the first thing, and I know it's the most obvious thing, 
uh, I'm just saying it because uh, a lot of smart folks would have already figured it out. But for the folks who did not, there are a couple of tools that Google has that allow you to check if your integration has been done correctly or not. This is an ad inspection tool and a mediation test tool. These are really simple uh, tools that allow you to add a test device, figure out if the integration is correct or not. I know it seems fairly obvious, but sometimes when you are doing an update, you might have goofed it up. Just check it out. If it's good, let's move on to the next step. The second thing uh, which you might have noticed, Google has actually come up with a new report called an Ads Activity Report, which is a new report called the AdMob Network Report. What they've done is actually given a lot of new parameters for you to play around with. You can really do a deep dive into what's working and what's not working. For the show rate, try and deep dive further into multiple parameters and see where exactly is the show rate going down, right? So you can look at uh, the format. Is it a format problem? You can look at the platform, see if it's an Android or an iOS problem. You can maybe do it in a uh, version number. So you have multiple uh, build releases. See if there is a perturb build, which is really, uh, leading to a lower show rate. Even within the formats, you can further drill down by ad type. That also is really, really helpful in figuring out if maybe it's a sizing issue, right? And we'll talk a little more about that. But a lot of times the ads that are being supplied back might not be being rendered for an image type or an ad type, but really, right? So do that. Uh, and the final thing you can also figure out by ad source. A lot of times the other partners that you've integrated may not be able to render the ads for an ABC reason. Spend some time, drill down on the ad activity report, also called the ad mob network report, and figure out exactly the case where this exact drop in show rate is happening. Once you've done that, the next thing I would recommend is something called error codes. This is an old capability by Google, which a lot of people use for different reasons, but this is also an interesting way to sort of figure out what the cause of show rate drop is. When you send an ad request to Google, Google either responds with an ad or it actually responds with an error code. There are about 15, 16 error codes that you can look at and each error codes means something. Now, you can actually add listeners that allow you to understand what is the error code that is being sent back. Based on that, you can actually figure out if there is an issue with configuration or if it's an issue with ad rendering. So these are two very interesting ways that you can sort it out. Once you figure out the error codes, uh, once you figure out the ad activity reports, the next thing is actually integrating Firebase. Now, I'm assuming you would have already integrated Firebase for a couple of other reasons, but this is also an interesting way to actually solve the problem. Run a couple of A-B tests, see if those placements can be replaced. If it's a version issue, try and disabling the ads, see if it works. But Firebase is your answer for running a couple of A-B tests and understanding how to finally solve that problem. Now, guys, I would recommend be extremely patient when solving this because this is going to be a long, tedious process. It's not something you can solve quite easy. Most people I've seen trying to solve this have taken a good amount of time to get to a final solution. Be patient, find out a time when you have that bandwidth to solve this issue and then go at it. Having said this, I also realize a lot of people ask me, man, can you at least give us a couple of ideas on what could be the possible reasons? What am I actually looking for? So that I have some sense of what am I actually working towards? So cool, man, I, I have, I've actually built a list, uh, helping you understand the common issues that I have seen, I have spoken to developers about, right? The first issue, I know, again, it's quite obvious, but a lot of times we have integration issues. So get that out of the way, like just check it out, figure out if it's a version issue. If a certain version is not performing well, figure out what went wrong and then solve it. Another very corner case in a lot of times when happens is you might have integrated a format and when you're actually, there are certain ad sizes which are not being able to render. For example, uh, there's a lack of space. Uh, you've not, you've integrated the banner or the native in a size that is actually limiting to certain devices. That can be a problem. So one very interesting way to solve this, you can actually upgrade a lot of your formats. For example, if you're looking at banner and this particular issue is with banner, make it an adaptive banner. Uh, these are new formats that Google allows where the width and the height are adaptable and that automatically ad adapts more sizes. So auto adaption works really, really well. Uh, one simple issue. The second is placement issue. A lot of times we actually place ads on screens that do not come always. For example, if you've built a game and you've got ads after every level, but the game's really hard, like most people crash after third level. So if you've got ads on the fourth or fifth level, which are actually loading, but they're actually not being shown. That can be an issue. You've got to figure out maybe decrease difficulty level uh, so that you can actually make sure the ads are visible. The third is also a problem where a lot of times when the user moves through the screen really, really quickly, there's not a lot of time and you've made an ad request, but the ads not come back yet. Because of that, the user move on to the next screen and the ads not loaded yet. 
and because of that the eye is not visible the fourth reason uh, again something you can't do much about but there are a lot of time there are internet issues device overheating memory issues within the phone these are issues that i've also heard of can't do much about it usually a lot of lower end devices and these issues so when you're looking and segmenting your problems if it's low end devices don't worry about it my recommendation another issue caching the issue that i mentioned uh, a while ago was about if you've skipped an ad placement or if you've skipped an ad placement because the user moved fast through it right loading issue now a lot of time what people do is you do preloading ads you uh, load a lot of ads and show it keep the ads in the memory and show it when the user actually gets there you call the ad right when you do that you actually sometimes developers load a lot of ads so that can be an issue because uh, your your show rate is less so reduce the frequency another interesting thing which i recently read about is that when you do caching and you get an ad now you do not know when you actually show that there are sometimes if your game plays really really long let's say the user is playing for 30 minutes and you already cached the ad when you actually show that cached ad at that time maybe the ad is no longer relevant right uh, google might have uh, that ad is no longer uh, a valid impression so if you show that ad google will not count it as an impression google has actually got a really neat function called is ready so make sure you load and call that function to ensure cached ads are ready and are still visible if not move on to the next ad call very simple problem right a uh, refreshing native and banner another very interesting problem uh, we have a tendency to load and refresh native really really quickly so essentially it automatically affects your show rate reduce the show rate uh, the refresh frequency in such a way that it does not affect your ecpm and revenue so that's another way to do it again guys the key is running as many experiments as possible and be patient these are two really really key uh, advice key things i will tell you to you find the solution and again understand the difference between match rate and show rate uh, that's the takeaway i i would like you to uh, leave with i love it that's my main takeaway say to you hey should we give any how much time should we give for each test well so it, it primarily depends on the number of ad requests that you're testing out so essentially as low as 10000 ad requests you would figure out what versions working out better said anything else i missed that you want to make sure we cover uh no man i think i've covered all of them well, once again it is appbroda.com if you're looking to increase your ad mob at x revenues go check them out they have amazing case studies of apps they've helped increase their downloads sid knows his stuff we've done a lot of content together so once again it is at broda.com let him know you heard it on this very podcast so that sid will continue to come back sid thank you so much for coming on and doing this thanks for calling me steve always a pleasure helping you figure out ideas on how to solve issues for developers you're my go-to guy and every time i have ad mob questions i always send people your way all right guys until next time i'll see you on the next video